Why were you trying to kill Eugene Ashton? Tidying up the last loose ends. Was it you that killed Sean and Dr. Powell? No. But you were involved with the drug ring, weren't you? My kids have got to eat somehow. So why were you trying to kill him? You were in business together. Or was it something more personal? Kill my beautiful Sean. And he killed that other guard too. What's going on here? It's all right. He was supposed to help Sean get away, but he shot him. Bastard called me. No, 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 he's fine. He told me Sean was fine. And all along he'd killed him. That's a ton of crap. Every word. I didn't kill Sean Lynch. It does answer some questions, Eugene. Oh, come on! You can't believe that skank! You mean your business partner? She told us about the drugs, Eugene. Still leaving some blanks. We've got a scenario we'd like to run by you. Once new management came in, you got scared. You had to shut the whole thing down because you knew you'd get caught. And the only way you could do that properly was to purge the whole setup. There was no gun left at the petrol station. And we think that Ben Kelton was just unlucky. Wrong place, wrong time. I didn't kill anyone. I swear. You've got a credibility problem, Eugene. We're going to go for double homicide for starters. And then we're going to try and nail the murder of Clive Powell on you as well. Powell? Murdered yesterday. But of course you'd know that because you stuck the needle in his arm. I, di I didn't. Hang on. How do you explain this? I was shot from behind. The Lynch thought you were going to let him go. So what? Did he agree to injure you for... No. It's over, Eugene. You got it wrong. We don't think so. I swear to God, you got it wrong. OK. Well, we're listening. I'll make a deal first. I can't go to jail. An ex-guard. I kill me in there. You've murdered anyone, Eugene? No deal. I didn't. I didn't kill anyone. Make a deal. I'll tell you everything I know. Didn't see this one coming. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. Get real. This is from a confessed drug dealer and liar. Of course he's going to try to put it on me. I'm his worst nightmare. You know, you did a good job, Mel. We actually bought your act. We thought you were the real deal. He has no proof and no motive. It's a crock. Well, blackmail's a motive, a pretty bloody good one. You were running the drug ring with Lynch and Eugene. Only Lynch got greedy. He wanted a bigger slice of the pie or he's going to dump you in it. So you came up with the plan. You told him that you were going to let him escape. You were never going to let him get away, were you? Sorry, mate. Nice touch, but uh, who's going to wear it? That's me. That's a slight change of plan. Sean's going to ground until the heat dies down. No, 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 he's fine. Jeez, oh. It needs to look believable. Oh. Tell them you tried to get away after he shot Kelton. You can't prove any of this. It is my word against a drug dealer's. You said you were driving home at the time of the shooting? I said it because I was. In your own car? That's right. You usually take the Balti Bridge, right? We've got your e-tag statement. Saving on, saving on toll. Disposing of Lynch's body. Oh, come on. My patience is at an end. Melissa, what's this? Your fatal mistake, Melissa. You didn't turn your phone off. And when it's on, it logs on to the nearest towers. 
They're the records from the two nearest to where Kelton and Lynch were shot and where Lynch's body was dumped. We've highlighted the interesting bits. It places you at both scenes at exactly the right time. I will fight this every step of the way. So will we. Melissa Gordon, I'm charging you with the murders of Sean Lynch, Ben Kelton and Dr Clive Powell. You are not required to say anything, but anything you do say may be given in evidence. You didn't report my case at the time. I would have remembered. So, Dane. What would you like to say to the world? Why should I tell you anything? Because I can print your side of the story. You work for Alan Sullivan. My side of the story will only get twisted to what he wants. Well, I don't have an axe to grind. I'll write the story honestly. Yeah, right. Dane... I trust you that I end up reading I'm a monster who killed my beautiful wife. Tell me what happened. And I give you my word, I will not distort the truth. So you'd believe me if I told you I was set up? By who? The cops. Which cops? The two homicide cops. I've spoken to Nick Buchanan. And how well do you know him? So you're saying Bruce Dalton and Nick Buchanan set you up? How? They planted evidence. This for your next dinner party.